Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou and my many days of fairies. So, oh, hold on, I'm missing a light. There we go. Um, so I am working away on this purple cover right now. So obviously I've got the base coat of paint on. Um, I've got the inside sprayed so I get some silver around the edges. Now I still have a ton of work to do on the cover. If it looks a little rough to you, no stress because it's nowhere near done. <laughs> so the, um, second part of this cover like well second third fourth fifth parts um <laughs> will be I want to add a secondary purple to this as well um, and we're going to cover over some of the silver that has has come through to this side um, and then we're going to do a little bit more embellishing on the cover as well and also um, we'll be placing the plate on the front that I chose from the um the cottage flower photograph album um so this is going to go here and inside we're going to have a picture of one of cicely marie barker's fairies a purple themed one um and then i'm going to i so this is from a book right that i am upcycling this particular one i didn't build the spine because it already had a two inch spine so i'm going to use the original but you can still see here the original text where it says the 900 days the siege you know something or other and i don't want to see that so i took this today um where is it so it's another page of that book and i i clipped this midsection out here and i want to use it um, as a spine cover so for for this particular book I may not do that on all of them so what I did is I you know measured and clipped it out then um, I added some gilding and some purple inking around the edges and it says this place belongs to some good fairy so I have been for a while now snipping out word snippets from random books about fairies I've collected a few of them here I anticipate the books that I'll be using will have more of this so um um, that's where this is going so I'm not going to attach anything on the cover yet except maybe this um, but I'm also thinking about it if I want to do a little more painting first because I might do the underpainting first so that I don't get any paint on here just because I know myself and I can get a little messy don't even look at my fingers my hands are so stained from eco printing you'll see that later though i have another fun video coming um soon on another boiled book that i'm working on <laughs> or I've, I've worked on um so yeah scatterbrained me okay so the next thing i think i want to do maybe is work a little on this cover um and i'll show you i'm just going to run to my little table over here one second they're not quite dry yet but you see these I tediously fussy cut all of these leaves and <laughs> then I sparkle painted them with this galaxy glitter um, so what I want to use these for I, I don't want to go you know crazy using them I just want to use probably one possibly two on these covers before I seal them so I'll set them aside here because they're not quite dry and I want to use them on the back so I just want to have like maybe like one simple one on the back and I'll ink it a little bit I, I haven't cut these little inside bits out and I don't think I want to to be honest I just don't I'm going to do some inking instead um, that will make it look really fun so you know you could use this kind of thing if your book had a little you know a little bump or something from painting or whatever they're really good to kind of camouflage that um, so that is something that I'm also going to be working away on here um so yeah i might be able to lift these off of here right now yeah i just did this this morning because i'm trying to kind of get all the elements together to get the covers made um and yeah i'm getting there i've been busy just getting things ready for my family who are coming to stay with me for a couple of weeks and so that has been definitely eating into my time a little bit but it's worth it and i also need to get back to spinning yarn i've lost some valuable time from having this this um cold that i haven't been spinning but 
I gathered all the materials this morning for my next yarn. It's going to be another of my gnome yarns. And I'll probably do another yarn parade video soon. Because I have actually spun quite a bit of yarn. Um, okay. And then I'm also taking a university course right now too. So I just have lots of things going on. I, I need about 12 more hours in each day at the moment. Um, but that's okay. All right, so those are up and off that. They're just about, they're, they're mostly dry. I'd say they've got like little bits here and there that are dry. So let's get this out of here. I have a couple more. <laughs> I just figured I would cut all of these out and then get them painted and get them ready um, so that they would be available to me when I get into the final work on the covers. I think I'm going to use these journals maybe to do a video that is essentially going to be on understanding the effort and cost behind the creation of a junk journal. And now that I've said that, I'm sure somebody else will snag that idea <laughs> and make a video before I can, but that's okay. Um, I think it's good to have multiple perspectives. Um, yeah, because, you know, these are the little things that outside of making the book itself that you don't realize maybe that there's a lot of time spent on things like um, you know, curating things, collecting things, fussy cutting, dyeing paper, um, making little accents, making every individual piece of ephemera. It's like a little piece of art, right? So there's lots of things to consider when, when you get um, a junk journal. So, okay, I'm going to, you know what I'll do next? Before I choose my secondary purple for this, I will show you the digitals. I printed the digitals yesterday. These are going, these are from many different creators and or designers, and they're going to be used very randomly throughout the how many books do I have? Is it 10? I can't remember if it's 10 or 12. Anyways, I think I'll figure that out. Um, <laughs> So yeah, I'll, I'll show them to you. They're going to be in all the journals. There's going to be so much fun here. So this first one is from Teal and Tattered. Um, I love I love her. I love her kits. They are double sided. This is the journaling space and these are the busier pages. So these are beautiful pages. Um, and I've printed two of those kits. So that's how these will get scattered throughout the journals. Um, so there'll just be a couple of pages of these in each. Then I can't recall, um, this is, oh, this is a public domain image that I printed too. I just love the colors of this. They're so nice. Then these are public domain photographs. Um, I try, I'm really forgetting the photographer's name, but he was alive in the early 1800s and he did this photo shoot of these girls with fairies and they're lovely, very aged black and white kind Kind of images and I really love them I think they're very magical um, then these are collage pages I don't remember whose digitals these are and you're gonna hear me say that a few times I I end up using a lot of different things so I don't always remember everything I'll tell you when I remember but um, the overarching understanding here is that a lot of this I now realize is from the fairyopolis book and Cicely Marie Bar Mary Barker they've even used the cover so it's an interesting take on a digital um i don't i don't know i have the original book so i don't know um what i'll do with these yet i think they'll go into collage maybe um yeah so then this is more of the teal and tattered these are her background pages and i've printed it again on those beautiful fronts um yeah, this is the second print of this, the journaling space. Her style really appeals to me because it's extremely bright and fun, and I really love that. Like, I feel like sometimes I'm kind of the, um, I'm the bridge between the dark and the light. 
<laughs> journalers on on uh, YouTube, like journal makers. I see a lot of people who focus mainly on a lot of, you know, very kind of themes that are around, like things like I don't know, like fairies or gratitude or flowers or you know all of those kind of bright and happy themes. And then there's other themes that are kind of like dark, like death and witches and Halloween and all those kind of, you know, I mean, I respect both and I, I love working in both. So I just kind of, you'll see me do all sorts of things here on this channel. Um, these are from Mrs. Coggs. So this is a lovely one that has lambs and I just love that. Now these are from old, old books. So the image quality, I would say varies on these, not because of the digitals themselves, but because illustration in old books isn't always the most crisp but these I love I mean these are just magic right um yeah so cute this one's really beautiful with this bird and I printed this in a couple different sizes with the sheep to see um what, how the image quality would look. Um, some of these I think won't make the cut for the journal. That one specifically is just too, um, it's not exactly, and I did try a couple of different papers and a couple different sizes, but that was as good as it got because this is, um, um, like a photo, um, cardstock. So yeah, this one's really pretty. But some of them won't make the cut. I end up kind of going through everything again before I make that decision. I love this one with the bunny. So cute. And this with the bird. Yeah, this squirrel is just so sweet. And then Fairies in the Garden, also from Mrs. Coggs. So this will be for some ephemera making. Um, now this... Um, this I can't remember who this is oh I feel so bad um I have to think about this one so this is like a pocket okay so these four acorns are going to be the base of the pocket and then there, it's going to be like um a triple layer pocket and then these are all the little things that you can use to embellish and stuff in the pocket it's little uh fairies again and little butterflies and pumpkins and all different nature things so that will be one element in some of the journals then this is another beautiful digital page again i'm forgetting who these two are from this i think is crafty cat usa from her we fairy folks collection these are from the Capilli Imaginarium or Imaginarium. They're her fairy paper dolls and I love them. I think they have such a different feel to them. This is, um, I can't remember, but they are Cicely Mary Barker images. And on back, this is um, some prism um, paper. It's a digital from Digital Curio, and I added it to a couple of these pages. Um, this is definitely from Crafty Cat USA, her We Fairy Folks, or her We Forest Folks. Yeah. Then this is from Digital Collage Club. It's some little mini tags with the different fairies and their flower names. Prism, more of this digital, but I can't remember who it's from because <laughs> I'm terrible. And these are from Monica Adamo, Adamo Prints on Etsy. This is some um, ephemera, fairy ephemera. Yeah, really cute. envelope super cute it has um, a couple of envelopes here yeah these are all from Adamo prints okay and then some words so that for now is what I've printed there are so many fairy digitals on Etsy but um this I think for now is what I want to work with 
I may have a couple others that I'll print as time goes on, but we'll see. I, I think I'll get a start with just that because I do have a lot of other things in my studio and just a lot of stuff that I really want to hand make um, to, to go along with this theme. So those are the digitals. Um, what's next? What can I show you? Oh, okay. So these are the covers that have been almost completed. They're, they're sticky. They really need to be finished and sealed. So that's the next stage. So I showed you the first purple one. This one is definitely needs work still. Although I really love the cross hatching of this translucent paint. I'm going to do more with this, but um, yeah, that one will go on there. And the orange one. I really love the orange one. I feel like this cover, the paint itself, is just really what I was looking for. But yeah, they're very sticky. I've got to uh, get them get them sorted here. That one will go in here. And the pink one, this will go here. The red one. And the yellow one. So yeah, still lots of painting to go. The covers are probably the the hardest part of all of this because choosing to make painted covers is many, many layers and um, it takes a while. <laughs> so I think that is maybe it for now. I think the next thing I'm going to choose um, is the right fairy for each of the journals maybe too so let me show you an example so here you know we have a yellow fairy and that's what I want to go on my yellow cover and my yellow um, card here so if we imagine you know this going on in here these, these open up because they're double right so I'm keeping them mostly together except um, I need to fit the card in the middle. I can open this with the ruler here. Uh, I have to do this later, but you'll see. You'll see the point. See if I can get it far enough in there to kind of give you an idea. I can. Okay. So this one's not going to work because it's not a large enough image, I don't think. Um, because I don't want the label or the K or anything like that showing. Um, but there's there's some that don't have this kind of stuff on them. They're just the images. So I've just really got to sort through and find the right kind of image that I'm going to want. Um, let's see if we can find a yellow. There's a sweet yellow one. That's really cute. I don't know if the bird and the fairy will fit. Let's see. Yeah, that might be the one that I go with because it's amazing. So that's what that's going to look like when it's complete. Um, yeah, I love that. Okay, so that is the plan for now. Um, and I'm going to keep working on this. I, I'm probably going to next try to get the covers finished and sealed. So that will be a bit of work because... Um, it's going to probably take a few days for it to fully dry because there's more layers of paint and layers of sealant to go and some decoupaging but yeah I'm enjoying the whole process overall and I think they're going to be a lot of fun when they're finished so I will sign off for now and I'll hopefully talk to you soon um I'm trying to decide if I want to focus my Tuesday 10 around fairy ephemera we'll see where I am because I'm hesitant to like tear into fairy ephemera until I get my pages decided but now that I've printed the digitals I actually have stuff to work with that's not from um whatchamacallit the the books themselves yeah but the truth of the matter is also my Tuesday 10 um, bin back here is literally just overflowing it's exploding because I have been tearing things out of books and I've been adding like a lot of things to it so I don't know I feel like I need to have like a Wednesday 100 or something just like make for a massively long time I would do a stream but I just don't see myself having time um, to do that so yeah that's enough rambling for me for now and I hope you enjoyed seeing where we are on the project and I will talk to you again very very soon bye for now